so today is the big day. Nigel Wright's in the stand. And what you have to understand, first of all, is that he is the anti-Mike Duffy. He is the antithesis of Mike Duffy. He is skinny from running a half marathon at dawn every day. He's disciplined. He's uh, well-spoken, preposterously articulate, actually. And for conspiracy theorists who are dying to see Prime Minister Stephen Harper tied more closely to the Senate scandal, the Mike Duffy piece in particular, uh, I think they are disappointed with it with day one, probably, because uh, Mr. Wright uh, basically stuck to the story, and it's a credible uh, version of her uh, story of what happened. He says that when he prepared a $90,000 bank draft to get to Mike Duffy to repay his improperly uh, claimed expenses, that he didn't tell the Prime Minister. Uh, the details of it, he just told the Prime Minister earlier on when they thought the expenses were only about 32 grand that the party was going to repay it. Uh, that was the end of it. Then the amount ballooned. Nigel Wright was, I think, viscerally disgusted by the amount and he said in the stand that he thought it was an outrage to the taxpayer. But he was also very fair to Mr. Duffy. He said he thought he agreed to do this because they'd committed to repaying his expenses. He felt he owed it to him. Mike Duffy had, you know, sort of conducted himself that way. Uh, so anyway, it's, it was really interesting that there was one line right up until the last moment. Mike Duffy's lawyer, not the lawyer who represents him here, but the lawyer who represented him in all of this, he and his lawyer were trying to so suck every advantage they could. And at one point, the lawyer wrote and said that Mr. Duffy wanted a guarantee from the Senate Internal Economy Committee and from the government leader in the Senate that if anybody tried either to have him removed as a senator because of the residency thing, or if anybody wanted to refer the investigation of his, his claims, to any authority, including the RCMP. He wanted it in writing that the RCMP would never be, ref his claims would never be referred to the RCMP. And Nigel Wright, reading this, this from one of the staffers in the PMO, says, essentially, are you freaking kidding me? We can't have an agreement not to refer something to the RCMP if somebody thinks there's a crime that's been committed. He said, that would be a scandal, no? And it would have been. That would have been a genuine, much bigger scandal. We'll see how Mr. Wright fares in what will be, I think, a very long and detailed cross-examination starting tomorrow. But at the end of the day, I think he comes across, uh, as he said of Mike Duffy, he thought Mike Duffy was one of the good guys. He was on, on the team, the same conservative team. I think that Nigel Wright came across as a very good guy himself today, an interesting mix of political pragmatism who was nonetheless capable of drawing a line in the sand at certain kinds of conduct. I thought he, he did that. That's it for the day.